Well, um, my name is Jacob Barhak. Uh, I'm going to talk about MIST. Uh, MIST stands for Microsimulation Tool. Uh, Microsimulation is uh, a method used in disease modeling to uh, simulate each individual separately and then combine all the information together uh, to see what happened to the entire population. Uh, as you can understand, it's an embarrassingly parallel uh, uh, problem. So MIST is a Python framework that supports chronic disease modeling. Uh, it uses computing power uh, to help with the uh, microsimulation. So, um, uh, Patricia has already talked about the uh, disease models a bit. Um, I'm going to explain a bit more about those. Uh, disease models describe phenomena that are observed uh, in a clinical trial. They usually describe it as some sort of an equation, uh, a Markov model, uh, some sort of function that maps inputs to outputs. This is what the disease models are. Now, once we have this function that describes this phenomena, uh, a lot of times we try to take this function and see uh, apply it to other populations to see what might happen to them in the future if we, the same phenomena are applied. Um, a lot of times we use it to predict costs, quality of life information for a population. And there are many, many disease models out there, uh, many types. Uh, I will be talking about chronic disease models. So, uh, MIST is not new. Actually, uh, MIST is a split from an existing uh, framework, also built uh, from Python, called ICE, the Indirect Estimation and Simulation Tool. It has been around for quite a while. Um, however, MIST, if you notice, doesn't have estimation in the name because MIST simplified ICE by dropping estimation. It makes it much more usable. There are some uh, improvements there to make it easier for the user to use. And more than this, MIST now uses the new py uh, scientific Python distributions, specifically Python XY and Anaconda are the ones that uh, MIST was uh, tested upon, uh, but others may apply as well. Um, one thing important about MIST is MIST runs over the cloud. If you have uh, access to the Amazon cloud, then uh, you can easily run MIST over it. Um, a lot of effort has been put into making MIST reproducible. Now you can recreate simulations you run on a cloud or on a cluster or on your own machine from, a trace, from tracebook files that uh, are left, uh, and the user can request to just to produce the simulation they just made. Those are Monte Carlo simulations. So basically what uh, the trace picks, uh, is is the random state that is being saved. But it's important for publication. Um, uh, MIST has a, new, uh, test, a renewed testing suit uh, 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 written in nose and some bug fixes as well. I'm gonna go and explain a few things, a few features about MIST. There are many of them, so I'll be touching only a few. Um, First of all, for the user interface, the user uh, has a form-based uh, user interface. Um, I'm showing a few forms. It has a bit more. Uh, the user can define the model, uh, the states, the transitions, uh, the populations that go into the system. The user can simulate uh, simulations from within the, the user interface and collect results and uh, view them. All those are possible within the user interface. But more importantly, uh, MIST actually has a simulation language. It's a Monte Carlo simulation compiler. What MIST does, it takes the model that the user defines, and the user can think about many types of models, and it compiles it into a Python script. This script is then run on one machine or multiple machines, depending on how you run it. Then MIST knows how to collect the results back and display them to the user. Um, uh, the language is strict uh, and has all sorts of mechanisms that are helpful in Monte Carlo simulation, such as uh, imposing bounds and parameters. And uh, it has useful uh, features that are helpful for specifically for disease models, such as uh, being able to uh, represent tables, because information is not always found in literature as functions. Sometimes uh, tables are given. So uh, uh, this is something that uh, the simulation language has inside. It has also other features, but since we don't have a lot of time, I'll go on and explain a bit more about my, uh, Monte Carlo simulation. So uh, the heart of the Monte Carlo simulation is a, a multi-process state transition machine. Uh, here I'm showing the reference model for disease progression that uh, runs on MIST. Um, you see here three processes. The first one of them is a heart disease. Second one is a stroke. The third one is a competing mortality. 
uh, each one of those processes is separate, but interactions between those are still possible. One simple interaction that happens is competition. Uh, a, 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 an individual in the simulation can die out of getting a heart attack, out of getting a stroke, or by, get, by, get, by getting hit by a bus. All those are possible. And the simulation allows it. Uh, so, uh, and you can add more processes if you have more disease processes. Uh, MIST allows you to do this. Around uh, the state transition, the MIST also adds uh, other types of rules. Um, rules are always of very simple form that the user can define very simple in a table. And rules are used to handle parameters such as uh, uh, changing biomarkers such as age or blood pressure before the state transition machine starts, or for calculating costs and quality of life after you know whether a patient has uh, had, a, a, had a heart attack or a stroke. This affects costs and quality of life. So if you notice before, the input for the entire simulation is population. A population uh, should be described as a table, as you can see here. A very regular table which has all the parameters, the initial conditions for the simulation. Unfortunately, finding such a table is almost impossible. Uh, even if you have access to individual data, the, in the data that you have a lot of times is uh, uh, messy, uh, unreliable sometimes, uh, uh, and a lot of missing da data, even if you do have access to it. Uh, most of the time, you don't even have access to uh, individual data. So MIST allows you to uh, uh, avoid this problem. Uh, it allows you to recreate populations from distributions. And uh, using its own language, it, you, can defined, you can define the distributions, and MIST will generate the table for you. Now, the nice thing about it is that distribution, while individual data is highly restricted and has many, many, uh, 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 many, many rules governing how to, you can use individual patient data, uh, at, at the same time, aggregate data is publicly available, open, and available from many, many sources. If you could go to clinicaltrials.gov, you'll find many, many clinical trials. Usually table one in each one of the publications describes the population by distribution. So if you just copy this table and plug it into the exam, just like in the example you see here, the system will be able to generate a population from you. In a sense, this ability allows you to access much more data that is available while avoiding all the restrictions have to do with individual data. At the same time, MIST does allow you to enter a table. If you do have clean individual data, you can import it to the system. So you, can, you have the benefit of both worlds this way. Um, there was an effort made uh, to make MIST reproducible. MIST stores uh, the random state of each simulation. Um, it's very good, especially since you're running micro simulations. And uh, in micro simulation, you, you create a lot of data during the simulation. Pulling, running it into a cluster and then pulling it back, even copying it to another hard drive takes time. And since the only thing that drives the entire simulation starts it is the random state, if you just record the random states of all those simulations, it's enough for you to be able to reproduce everything. So the only thing you have to do have now to save disk space or copying time is, uh, is get the is get the random state, uh, the traceback information, and the end results. That's it. You're reproducible. And uh, MIST has the capability to reproduce it. Uh, it's very important if you want to publish those results. People can now follow what you did. M most importantly, maybe, is MIST now runs over the cloud. If you don't have access to a cluster, you can go to the Amazon cloud and run it. I want you to remember it, so I have a cool animation for this. You can see MIST runs over the cloud. And hopefully you'll remember it. Uh, it uses Star Cluster and it uh, that, uh, uh, launches a um, SunGrid engine cluster on the cloud. Uh, there is a, a, an available Anaconda AMI that uh, MIST uses for uh, the cluster master and nodes. And it's good for either if you don't have access to the cloud, uh, to, to, to a cluster, you can still run simulations that are uh, fairly large and cut down your computation time. Sometimes computation takes quite a while in uh, MIST. Uh, or you can save 
the the investment in the cloud at all if you don't run uh, in a cluster at all if you don't run many simulations. So at this point, I'll summarize uh, just to leave time for questions, and um, I'll just put a few bullets that I want you to remember. MIST stands for Micro Simulation Tool. Micro Simulation helps us uh, run simulations for disease models. Uh, MIST runs over the cloud. I hope you remember it by now. And MIST is free and available on GitHub under GPL license. MIST runs the reference model for disease progression. It's a new framework for uh, the reference model. And if you want me to talk about the reference model, if there will be time, I'll be happy to do this. Uh, otherwise, I would like to acknowledge uh, a lot of support that has led the, uh, 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 this effort a long time ago, uh, from a long time ago. Uh, Diana Eisman started it about eight years ago, and many of the ideas uh, are still up here today, and, and I thank her for that. And at this point, I'll stop. Uh, if you have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer. <laughs>